Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I've got something cool here. I have a Cena 50C, which Cena 50C is what I always use on my uh, helmets. I've used them for quite a while. I actually started with the 10C because I wanted something that would record uh, video and also my buddies that I ride with, I want their audio to come through on the video. So I didn't want to use something like uh, the other cameras that go on the chin and you know, I wanted something that would record video and also have intercom that I can use to do phone calls on. And when I do ride, as I say, when I'm recording video, I want that audio to come through on there seamlessly. And Cinna has offered some for quite a while that does. They started out with the 10C, then they came out with the 10C Pro, and then they came out with the 10C EVO, and now, of course, they have the 50C, which is uh, really cool. It's 4K, uh, 5.0 Bluetooth, has image stabilization. So there's a lot of features on this one. So it does do Ultra HD 4K, 30 frames per second, or you can do 1080p at 60 frames per second. Uh, this camera also does have the audio multitasking. So basically, I can be on here, and when I'm riding, I can say, hey, Senna, start recording hey Santa, stop recording uh you can do the commands to tell it what to do which is real cool uh if you don't want to have to reach up while you're riding take your hands off the bars and mess with the buttons uh, it also you can talk through it to your phone i can say hey siri and use that and that works great uh to use it because i will uh, instead of texting you know, you're riding down the road, you can't kind of text on your phone, but you can say, uh, hey Siri, call somebody, or hey Siri, do this text message. And if you receive a text, you can reply to it by using Siri. So the Cine 50C is packed with a bunch of features and I just, I've tried other cameras, I've got all the other cameras. And if you'll notice on all my videos for the past, my goodness, a lot of years, the Senna is all I've used. It's just, it works great for me. And I'm gonna take and install this thing on this climb helmet. Now it was installed pretty much similar on any helmet, but uh, I've kind of modified my helmet to work well with the Senna's, uh, the way I mount and the way I want the video to come out. So I'll show you here in a minute, but we're gonna go ahead and stick this thing on. Uh, it's very, very simple to install. If you got one, you can install this on any helmet, pretty much just super simple. Let's go ahead and open the box and see what's in the box. Okay, so let's get this box open. And one thing about Cine is they definitely do a good job of packaging. Uh, they don't just throw it in some cardboard box. They, this is a nice quality box. Have to cut the little strips there. Slide that off. So first thing you're gonna notice is the Cine 50C. Very cool. This thing is nice and compact. One thing I like about the Senna is instead of being a camera that would sit on the chin of your helmet, this actually will sit and mount on the side of your helmet. So it's pretty low profile. It don't stick way out on the side of your helmet. It don't stick out in front of your helmet. It's just nice and thin on the side of your helmet. Uh, this thing also has mesh intercom and it has Bluetooth, but it also has the mesh intercom and the mesh intercom works really good, especially if you want to connect to a whole bunch of people and you can run with open mesh where if you're riding around somewhere and there's people on mesh, they can actually connect with you. Uh, if you want to connect, I use mesh anytime that I have friends that have mesh, but I also use it uh, Bluetooth to people that just have standard Bluetooth. Now you can connect Cena. I've never done it, but they say you can connect this to other Bluetooth intercoms besides Cena. Uh, they're different brands, but this is the antenna for the mesh right here. So pretty much just clips down like that. And then on the back here, we have a button and this is your mesh button. So you can actually turn the mesh on in the app and tell it to be open mesh or private, uh, or you can push this button right here and this button will turn on the mesh. Uh, usually this is what I do. I turn this on my son that has a mesh intercom. He pushes his button and they automatically connect. Works real good. Also on the front here, we peel off this little protector for the screen. And then we have the camera lens right here. You can see 
And what it does is because depending on your helmet, if some helmets this thing may tilt and you want your horizon of your video to be flat. So you take and you can adjust this part right here as you see it turn right here. So you can pull this little handle up and down and that will adjust. It's real stiff too, so it's not gonna actually vibrate and move on you. Once you set it, it's gonna stay there. So you can just tilt that to adjust it where you want. On the back here, this is where it mounts. There is a couple different types of mounts you can put this on. Uh, the one I got is just a flat mount that comes with it I use, but there's different kinds of mounts you can use. On the unit itself here, we have the big jog dial. So it turns, you can turn the volume up and down, go through the different menus uh, when you go into the menu. Uh, you can push the jog dial so it does different functions if you push it. Back here we have the phone button. So you use this phone to, is what I say, if you want to use this to talk on Siri, if you don't want to do voice uh, prompts, you can actually just push this button to connect to your phone, disconnect your phone call, whatever. Uh, works really good. Right here we have the connection where the speakers and the microphone will plug in. And then right here on the bottom, this is the camera button. See right here if you have it face up, so just right underneath it's real easy to access. One, go under here and just push this, it will say camera on. And once your camera is on, if you, when you're ready to record, you just push it and hold it for a couple seconds. It will say recording and you're started recording. When you want to stop recording, just hold down on it. It will stop recording. This also has auto off. Uh, you can adjust that different times. I use it, I leave it set on five minutes because if I happen to turn the camera button on and then I end up not recording, I don't want it to run my battery down using it. So I will actually leave it on and then after five minutes, if I don't go ahead and start recording something, then it's going to automatically shut off and it will voice prompt and tell you uh, camera off. You can also use this button here to take pictures. So if you just want to do a snapshot, uh, whenever you get the camera on, if you just push it one time, it'll do a snapshot. Works really good. On the bottom here, we have the place for USB-C. And USB-C is what you charge this with. You can plug this into anything, pretty much your car. I actually can plug this into my motorcycle. So I plug in my USB-C cable right here, plug it into my motorcycle. Now, when I plug this into my motorcycle in the USB and the camera is on, it does not charge this unit, but it will run this unit and you can record all day long if you want to. It's just while this is using your camera, it's not recording. So if you shut this thing off, plug the USB in, then it will record. Over here on this side, we raise up the little rubber flap here. And we have the micro SD storage slot. So you just slide in a micro SD card right here. I use a 128 gigabyte Samsung. Uh, you can pretty much use any of them that are, is a good quality card. You want a good one because if you record in 4K, now, when I record on this unit, I don't record in 4K. I record in 1080p because I want to use the image stabilization. So I do 1080p 60 frames with the electronic image stabilization. Put that back and this keeps it nice and watertight. When you put them in there, I've never had one uh, get wet. It don't have no problem as far as getting wet. As long as you have these pushed in, you're not going to get water inside the unit. So you can just definitely tell by feeling this thing, the weight and the quality. It's not a, it's not cheap made. It's a very good quality unit. Um, I've had super good luck with them and run it. All my videos is recorded on this. Any of my motor vlogs is recorded on the Cena 50C identical to this one. So we take this out of the box. We'll see what else is in here. We have a box full of the parts and little goodies. Looks like here. Then we have a quick start guide. Simple quick start guide kind of tells you everything about it. What I told you about the jog dial, about the phone button, the microphone button, the camera button, tells you all the buttons. There's your antenna up there. Gives you some quick guide reference to get you started. And we also have some other literature here. It also tells us about the uh, Sino Wi-Fi adapter start cable. So basically, this cable is so you can plug your Cine in and update it. So you definitely want to use this cable. Go ahead and plug it in. As soon as you get this thing, update the firmware and you'll be good to go. So let's see what's inside this box here. All kinds of stuff inside here. So we have a couple cushions here. And what these are is some of the helmets have the hole where the speakers go, if you have that they're too deep or deeper than you want. You want these speakers closer to your ear. You can put these in. 
they are a velcro opposite on each side and you can put these in there to space your speakers out closer to your ear this is one of the mounts that you can use and this is a clamp style mount which is really nice you can take and you loosen these with the allen key provided and you slide this up over your helmet and you can just clamp this thing on to your helmet and it will be super solid using this style so you just slide your once you clamp this onto your helmet you just slide this right down over it it snaps into place and you're mounted super solid on the side of your helmet like so now one thing this thing does have too is amazing audio this has Harman Kardon audio which is if you know Harman Kardon they've been around for a lot of years making super quality speakers audio systems so the audio is real good when you listen to music when you listen on the intercom part the audio comes through real nice loud and clear has really good bass so i do like the audio on this so this is the wi-fi cable that comes with it and what this wi-fi does is makes it where you can connect this you plug this into the usb-c on the bottom and then you take this part here plug it into usb and this makes connects to wi-fi and you can update your Cena. So you can update the newest firmware and you definitely want to use this. Go ahead and update your firmware as soon as you get one of these. So you have the brand new firmware. Now it may already have the newest firmware, but if there is a new update, you'll know it updated and you're, you're good to go. Also comes with a couple different Velcro pieces that you might use. So there's different sizes and shapes in here, depending on how you mount this in your helmet. So there's, there's some round ones, some oblong ones that you use to mount various things inside your helmet, some of these components. This is also another, they give you plenty of options to mount this Cena with. And this is one that is basically like the other one. Instead of being just a simple slide on like this one, it slides on like that, but you have the ability to loosen this and you can adjust the tilt. So this is very nice too. So if you're not, if you can't get enough adjustment with this, now this one does set it out further away from your helmet but you can loosen this and you can, when you mount your Cena on here, then you have the ability to adjust it. So that's very nice too. You can tilt it different angles and then just tighten this nut back down here. Clamps on the same way as the other one with an Allen key, slide it up over the bottom of your helmet and you can mount it like that. Okay, so it also does come with a boom mic and the boom mic is actually what I use because I think the, the microphone quality is a little better on the this one than it is the button mic that it comes with so it comes with a boom mic and there'll be a foam pad in some of this so you get a couple different ones here they give you a spare in case you lose one or tear one but you put this on it uh, to keep the wind reduction down and these things work really really good and you can just mount this inside your helmet especially if you have an open face helmet then you would use this boom mic you can bend it around curve it right in front of your mouth where you talk so the boom mic works really good. It's very versatile. And this just plugs right into the wiring kit right here. So also we have a different mount. This is the third style mount that it comes with. And this is the mount that I use on mine. And that's because of the setup that I use. So what we got here is this mount made to mount, just stick it to your helmet. You can see it's curved. Mount that to your helmet. And then your center is just gonna slide right down on that clip in very simple to use i use this mount on the mount that i made for my helmet i'll show you in a little bit then we have an allen key and that allen key is the one i was telling you about that comes so we can actually loosen these up and mount it if you want to mount it with this style mount it to the side of your helmet and then we have this little velcro thing basically this is made so it goes right over this and you can use one of the pads here the velcro pad stick this to your helmet and basically that will stick down hold your boom mic in place where you want it so it also comes with a button mic and if you want to use this instead of the boom mic some people don't have room for a boom mic and they don't want like the the boom mic this here will plug in the same way as the boom mic so this goes directly in front of your mouth inside a full face helmet and these work pretty good as like i said i just like the boom mic better but i have used these and they work just fine now we come to the wiring kit and basically what it is is you have your two speakers right here, the Harman Kardon sound speakers. They have Velcro on the back, round. They have nice 
foam covers to go over them, keep them protected and uh, keep a lot of the dust and debris out. This part here is where it plugs into your, the bottom of your Santa. So you'll just take this. This kind of is, this is the lock right here. So you kind of just fold this back like so. You will slide this in and this makes a watertight connection. Push this down till it locks. Now we're locked in. And then of course our microphone will plug right into this red one. It's red on the microphone. Then we take our two speakers. One side is short and they're made to go to the side closest to the center. The other side is long, made to reach to the other side of the helmet. So super simple. If you have the cutouts in your helmet, uh, these work real good. If you don't, you can either make cutouts or some helmets have enough room that you don't need the little cutouts for these. Okay, now as far as mounting this on the helmet, you can see here that I have a Climb Cryos Pro. Works the same on any helmet. This is the mount that I use, and it's basically made to where it fits on the curvature of your helmet, like so. And because of this, if you, if you mount it like this, to me, the camera was too far back. And if I pulled it up here where I wanted it, then it kind of angled the camera the wrong way. So on my helmet, as you can see, I made this little bracket. It's basically just a piece of plastic that I folded, made kind of a wedge shape, and made it to where my head, this is still straight whenever my camera is mounted and my camera goes forward and it's straight and scooted further forward. That way the front part of my helmet is not in the camera view. So basically it's just this mount mounted on this little piece that I made uh, and mounts just like that. Works really good and I've used this on several helmets now and all of my different Senna cameras I've used the same mount. So I'm just taking it off put it on the different helmets. And all I have to do is take my Santa 50C on my mount, slide like that, snaps in, and that's the way it looks on the side of my Climb Cryos Pro, you can see. Actually works real good, fits real good on the side. I've got it actually tilted, you can see it's in the up position a little bit. That way, because when you ride, your helmet is actually tilted like that, and it sets the camera level. That's pretty much the perfect position for the video and the riding that I do. So, okay, so as far as installing the speakers inside, go ahead and remove your cheek pads, which I've already done that. I uh, went ahead and stuck this speaker in. You can see, hopefully, right there, it's mounted. This helmet already has Velcro inside, so it works real good and just sticks on. I put it in the location I want it. I've got this wire run back and around behind this back pad. Okay, now as far as installing my boom mic, I went ahead and put me a foam on here. And then we, of course, we have the red right here. With the, It's got a little arrow on it, so you really can't get it wrong. Then I'm going to take and plug it into my red connector here, like so. Then I'll place this boom mic to where it comes around in front of the helmet, right in front of my mouth. And hopefully that'll be a good location. It's where I always mount it. And like I said, this helmet already has Velcro inside, which works real good if you don't then you can use some of these provided pieces to stick it to. And I still use some of these maybe to help hold this boom mic in place, but I wanna go ahead and mount this boom mic. So the microphone is gonna be right here in front of my mouth. It's kind of hard to show this on the video inside the helmet, but the boom mic's gonna be right in front of my mouth when it comes around and then I'll stick it down tight and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and got it plugged in. So we are all mounted up, we're plugged in, our speakers located where I want them, got my microphone where I want them. First thing you want to do is put in an SD card, and what I use is the Samsung Pro Endurance 128 gigabyte. Uh, I can post a link to this too below where you can check these out if you want uh, these cards. These cards work pretty good because I've had other cards that fail. These have never failed. I've, I've used these for a lot of years now and had really good luck with them. And I've actually used this in several cameras and never had to replace it. It's never quit on me. So basically, we're just going to stick this in the slot in the bottom. So we'll take it and put it face down like that. Push it in until it clicks in. Make sure our rubber seal is put back in place to keep it watertight. And now we're ready to fire this thing up. So one of the first things you want to do after you start this, you definitely want to format your SD card. You always want to format any SD card to the unit that you're using it in, and that's one of the things we'll do too. Uh, you want to take your phone also and connect it to your phone because the first thing it's going to do when you turn it on, it's going to power up and say uh, phone pairing. 
and you don't have to pair it to your phone but if you'd like to it gives you that option right off the bat so to power this thing up we're going to hold the back button and push the jog dial at the same time phone pairing. comes up with phone pairing so we take our phone go to our bluetooth setting and we're going to look for the newest one it's going to be down at the bottom here Cinna 50c click on that Your headset is paired. there we go it says headset is paired so now we're connected to our phone now to turn the camera on on this is very simple so like i said to turn the camera on we just push this camera button on the bottom one time camera on okay once we got the camera turned on i want to format the sd card because i just put in the sd card we'll hold this camera button down Format SD card. And then you hold it down long enough there, it comes up, says format SD card, push your phone button on the back. Format SD card completed. Now our SD card is installed, formatted, we are ready to record video. So if we want to record video, our camera's already on, very simple. Uh, you want to take a snapshot, just push this button one time. You can hear the camera shutter sound, so we took a photo. Uh, we want to record. Hold it down for a couple seconds. Going to say recording. Recording. Like that. You basically, when you hear the two beeps, it turns it off or turns it on recording. Either way. Recording stopped. Let off. Now we hear the two beeps again. Then we let off. It'll be recording. Recording. Just like so. Now we're recording and ready to go. Recording stopped. So if we want to do the mesh intercom with somebody, we just push the mesh intercom button here on the back. Mesh intercom on, open mesh, channel one. Open mesh, channel one, mesh intercom's on, raise the antenna up for better reception. If you, if you need to, I usually if we're riding next to each other, then the antenna, I don't have to use it, but uh, you can put it up if you think that you might uh, be a little bit further away from somebody, but it works pretty good even with the antenna down as long as you're close to the other person okay so to control your camera you want to download the Cinna app hopefully i can get this phone where we don't have too much glare in it uh, it's kind of the sky here is making glare so basically you want to download the Cinna app and i've already got it downloaded but we'll click on the Cinna app right here Cinna camera app and once we're in there, we can connect it to our camera. And we want to choose which camera we have. We have the 50C. It tells us what to do to go ahead and connect, which power on, next. Uh, turn the camera on so by pushing the camera button on the bottom. Okay, now to connect, we want to turn on our camera. Camera on. We want to go into our Wi-Fi here. It should come up. There's our Cena 50C. Now you'll put in the password, and the default password for the Cena is Cena and four zeros. Click join, and now we're connected to our Cena. Okay, now that we went back into there, you can see we're automatically connected to the Cena 50C. This is where I go ahead and do all my settings. It's a lot easier for me to do this than to do anything directly from the Cena. Kind of gives you some really neat features in here. So the features we have is, shows your Cena 50C we connected, tells you your battery percentage right there. If we click on the camera, we can actually view the camera. You can see here, there's our camera. I aim it out that way. And when we're in the camera here, we have this little tools icon right here. So we can see the tools that's in here. Uh, we can go ahead and set all the settings here. The photo mode, single shot, video recording mode, normal recording. We can do time-lapse recording, we can do loop recording. We want it on normal recording, pretty much is what I use all the time. And then in here we have our video resolution. So we can do 4K, we can do tw uh, 2160 at 30 frames per second. Um, now, if you'll notice here, this is why I use 1080p. So if we use 4K, then we don't have the electronic image stabilization. You can see down here on 1080p 60, and 1080p 30, we have EIS, electronic image stabilization. So I use the EIS 1080p 60 frames, and it just helps uh, smooth out the video. So I like using that. That's what I always set mine on. Um, 
we can change all kinds of things in here too. the time lapse interval microphone gain i got it set on medium the date caption if you want the date caption on time and date format uh, speaker sound recording audio camera sleep that's the audio camera sleep which makes it go to sleep like i said after so long if you don't turn the camera on and start recording and then we want to format the sd card you can also do it right here by clicking format uh, it tells us our firmware version 1.1.1 .1 and we also want to use that cable i said to check out the firmware update to make sure there's no new ones so once we're in here we can actually control this thing by this app we can actually start recording, recording. recording we can actually switch to the different camera modes by pushing that button if we want to take a photo click that it takes a photo we're going to click on this and we can actually view what videos and photos we have in here you can see that i have one photo and one video there's the video playing that's just a two second video that i was recorded there's the photo that i took and also if i want to download the videos or the photos to my phone i can actually click on this choose the one i want and then i can download it to my phone like so so what i usually do is i just take the sd card out of my camera plug it into my laptop and then i edit the videos that way i don't actually take them off right here this is the only thing i use this for pretty much is the settings and i also want to make sure that my horizon is level on my camera so as far as like i said leveling the horizon um, what you can do is take this little adjuster here on the side and tilt it to where you want it. you can see i probably went way too far that way so i'm going to tilt it to where this is vertical straight up and down now my video is going to look correct oriented when i'm recording so there you have it guys that's the install of the cine 50c onto my climb cryos pro this is an awesome camera i will post a link in the description where you can check these out because they're great cameras uh, they work good as i said the great part about these is when you're recording video on this you're talking on your intercom to your buddies you can either have them on the audio their audio on with your video or not and i really like that feature and i like the way this is mounted instead of mounted in the front like people do their other cameras i like this side mounted it's very easy to use very easy to reach the controls to control this thing has the mesh intercom this thing is packed with features and to me it's the best moto vlogging camera there is on the market there's nothing that compares and Cine has the best intercom systems there is out there so i really like the Cine units their intercoms work flawlessly uh, everybody that i ride with uses the Cine. it works great we pair with each other we record audio video and it works great using the Cine 50c thank you all for watching this video so if you'll notice that all my videos that you see of my moto vlogs of us up in the mountains and for years now even in the ozarks uh, when I do the video recording on my Gold Wing, I have a 50C on my Gold Wing, just like this one. Uh, so every moto vlog that I do, be it the Gold Wing or the Dual Sport, is done with the 50C. Uh, I really love these cameras, so I will be making more videos showing you the recording of this. Thank you all for watching. Click the thumbs up, subscribe down below. Check out Senna's website. They have all different kinds of intercom systems not just the camera you can get just the intercom if you don't want them if you got more on a budget you don't need a camera you just want to talk to your buddies they even have helmets with built-in intercoms in the helmet um, super good company super good to deal with they have great support thank you all for watching catch you in the next one right on